Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you haven't been here before. My name is Christina White and I do videos on lifestyle, fashion and beauty. So today's video is, I've been sent a product from Goo Goo Hair and I asked for a human hair ponytail because I don't have one of those. I have been in the market for one of those and I was contacted by this company um, offering me a hair extension of my choice and I chose this one. So today I have put my hair back in a slick ponytail. I have not gelled it because I am going out tonight for a birthday party and I'm going to be having my hair down. So I didn't want to have to do my hair twice in one day because I'm not wearing my hair in a ponytail tonight. But I did want to do this video and get it up for you as I am going on holiday again. And I wanted to get this out before then so that I can go ahead and use it. Um, so this is how it comes. It comes in a little hairnet and it's quite a nice length. I've chosen, I think, an 18 inch um, length and I've got it in the medium blonde highlight. So I'm just going to straighten it using my GHDs, which are not plugged in. Okay, they're plugged in now. Just wait for that to heat up and then I'm going to straighten it and then put it in my hair and show you just how nice it looks. While I wait for that to heat up, I'm going to tell you the reason I picked one of these is because with it being human hair, you can curl it and style it as you would your own hair. And I've purchased, um, here we go, we're ready. I've purchased non-human hair ponytails before and they always go matty, they never quite look the same. And to be fair, they always look a bit too much. They've got way too much hair in them for me. And this one looks a lot more realistic. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this one looks in my hair and curling it and using it more in the future. So I'm just going to straighten it now. I'll straighten the little piece first. The piece that wraps around. That's straightened very easily. Okay, that's straightening really well. So this is nice quality hair. It's not got um, fake bits. Sometimes you can buy hair extensions and they still have little bits of false hair in and I've not seen that at all in this because it's super duper straight and it hasn't frazzled. So that's um, always a good sign if you get any fake bits. Sometimes they, they burn when you use a straightener on them. So I've got the GHD wide plate straighteners and I love these, especially for doing curls because they're a wide plate. They do a wider curl than the regular width barrel. Sorry, than the regular width um, plates on, say, the Mark IVs and the Platinums. So that's now basically pin straight, looking really beautiful. I haven't done the top bit because that's going to be um, on my ponytail anyway. I've already put my hair up in a high pony. It's wet, so I've left it wet because I do need to style it once I've finished doing this video for you guys. So this is really nice. I'm just going to give it a little shake just to let some of the heat out because I can feel it's a little bit warm still and I don't want it to set in any sort of non-straight um, form or pattern. Give it a nice shake, shake out the heat. It's very glossy, shiny, reflecting the light beautifully and I really like this mix of highlighted hair as well, the blondes, it's very nice. Okay so you get a little clip which is what you slide into your hair pony. So I'm just going to do that first. And then you tuck under this side and it's Velcro. So you wrap the long piece underneath your ponytail and the hair extension. Tucking that under and then you use this piece to pull it round and secure with the Velcro. And then you shape it how you want it to sit. 
and then taking the loose piece, which is the straight bit made for this purpose, you wrap this around your hair and secure it with some Kirby grips or bobby pins, as you call them in America. So with the little tail, with the little tail, you just secure that beneath and below your ponytail with the Kirby grips. And I have a whole packet full because they go walkies. They always disappear. I think this is a pack of 300 from Wilkinson's. Wilco's as it's called now. Does anyone else do this? I don't put them in my hair this way. I put them in this way, which I think is the way it's supposed to go in your hair. I always feel they're just a lot more secure if I do them that way around. Not this way. Not this way. This way. So now we have a lovely long human hair ponytail that looks really realistic and it blends in really well with the current colour of my hair. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. So I'm going to curl it now with the um, Dyson Airwrap just to see if I can give it a nice bend on the ends. So I'll probably do it in four sections. So I've split it in two and then I'll split it in two again and maybe do it like this, maybe three, that might be a bit too thick. I'll do it in six, so I'll do it like this. She's already ready. I might do it in um, the wider barrel, actually, because that's the skinny one. So I'm not looking for Shirley Temple curl here. I'm just looking for a nice bit of volume bend interest at the end. So I've got the wider barrel on here now. No idea which way that's. Turning currently, let's have a look. That way, okay, that's the way I want it to curl, so that's fine. Right, here's my little tufty bit. So let's separate you, give you a brush. It's quite secure. Separate with two fingers. To even, that's not even. <laughs> to even sections, there we go. So. So I held it for 10 seconds on hot and 10 seconds on cold and then flicked it off. Now I'm slowly removing it so it's got a nice bend. How long? So I've got a bra on so it's a bit, a bit weird showing you this. Okay, that's sweet. That's got a nice little flick on the end. I feel like I, I want it maybe a bit more than that actually. It's like it's dropped out almost completely to be honest with you. So I'm going to use the smaller barrel for this. Okay, so I'm going to use the smaller barrel now because that's almost completely gone and I do want a bit more than that, to be honest with you. sit her on my shoulder <laughs> when I get the next piece.
the wand. I've just noticed this isn't gripping that well at the bottom and this is the long attachment I'm going to use my short attachment because I feel like that's actually got more grip than this does because this has a longer um, span to throw the air across I've got this one it's a short I bought this one separately it's 30 pound let's see if that works better which way I've got to go. Okay, that is a lot better than the long version. Sit that on my shoulder. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> is quite easy. Did the back up there for you. Okay, that was better with the short version. So I'm gonna give these a quick spray. Stick them back up there. This is getting a little bit fluffy because of the blowing from the thing um, from the Dyson. So I'm just going to spray it with my really cool water bottle. Just flatten that back down. still has the slick effect, even though it's literally just wet hair. Okay, knocking things over. Right, let's let this drop down now. Yeah, that's a lot better than that side. So, I'm probably separating because of the way they've styled, but I'm just going to, um, that's a new comb that I bought comb it through to see if I can separate it out a little and make it pretty pretty looking oh that's exactly the sort of look I was going for I believe I'm just going to check it in a mirror before. okay that's perfect except for this little piece has um the wrap around bit has come loose because the hair's so silky it's actually just slid out of the Kirby grip so I just need to redo that bit here it is look you know i wasn't going to um go out with my hair up like this for tonight but i actually might because it does look really nice and i've done my makeup really nice today i actually took time to do every sort of makeup skill that i know and i used all of my favorite products so my makeup's looking if i do say so myself really good and um this ponytail style suits you know a really pretty face it looks really good when you have like your makeup done and a nice long ponytail how's that looking Check the mirror again for that strange piece. Okay, so I've actually taken it out because it wasn't sitting quite right. Now I've just brushed it with a hairbrush, so I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get my comb. Right, I'm going to redo this, put it back in again, because it, it kind of came out a little bit, so you could see this bit instead of this covering it. So I just want to get that right. Let 
gets better. I'm going to leave a little bit extra than I normally would just because this is so silky at the moment. Maybe if I had a little bit of hairspray, actually, just on the end, just to make it a bit more textured so that the curvy grips will grip it better. You don't want that falling out, do you? Having to do what I'm doing right now in like a restaurant toilet or nightclub toilet or something. You just want to. Put your hair up and be done with it. You don't want to be mucking about for the rest of the evening. You want it to just stay where you put it. Okay. Because I brushed it, which I shouldn't have done. <laughs> the girls are almost gone. I might attempt to actually... <gasps> touched my luckily these were turned off previously and they just sort of fell on it while it was warm that was close that was a close call I just very nearly wrecked my straighteners that would not have been good I'm going to use this to curl this because I feel like that's just dropped out completely with the um, air wrap I think the hair's just too brand new we're making curls with just that at the moment. The best curls you'll ever get are definitely ribbon curls, which is what hair straightener curls are, because you're heating the hair from both sides with the plate. So more of the hair is most certainly getting curled and it's smoother as well. You're going to get a much shinier curl in your hair from doing this. They're just not as like voluminous. They're not as big and bouncy because they're ribbon curls. You can kind of do them a bit wider, but you just sort of have to go really slow and not bend as much. And I just don't have the patience really for that. Like that one. Curl this one over so that I hopefully get a variation in the curl form. So pretty. the mirror for this. I've singled out this piece. This needs a higher up curl than it's currently got to match this sun here. Sometimes when you do this it actually spells disaster because sometimes the curl or sometimes the hair refuses to recurl so you have to be careful. I'm not sure I remember which way I curled this now because Hard to work out. This is an undercurl. It looks like an overcurl, but it's an undercurl. Pretty sure. <laughs> she says, ah, Please be the right way, please be the right way, please be the right way, please be the right way. again
Okay. That's cute. I'm going to brush it out with this now. See how that looks, because I like the soft, softness of curls, not so much ringlets. It looks so sweet. Oh, I might actually wear it like this now. <laughs> How's that looking? So I've just got a bra on. <laughs> right. I think that looks really sweet. So this is the final look. I'm going to give it a quick brush out just so you can see what it looks like brushed with a regular hairbrush because I do like the softness of how that looks. I'll show you the back. Sending him flying. So that's how it looks at the back and from the side. Looking very cute. I might actually wear my hair like this tonight now. I'm quite liking it. And um, my makeup is looking really good. So I feel like it's done. That's If I do my hair like this tonight, if I just leave it, then I'm ready. I'm ready to go and I haven't got a faff later. Um, this makeup look is called my everything makeup look. So if you'd like to know how I've achieved this look, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video on this. Because this is my makeup look when I've got time to actually do my makeup. This is what I do. This is my favourite of all time makeup look. It's all the skills that I know how to do makeup. It's the colours and everything that I think suits my face the most, the style that suits my face the most, all that stuff. So if you'd like to know how I achieve this makeup look, let me know in the comments and I'll do that for you because it's, I don't use filters on my videos, as you can always tell because you can see my pores, which are horrific. But this is, um, me <laughs> without filter so I'm quite pleased with this look so my brows are looking banging <laughs> yeah so yeah if you want to know how I do this look let me know in the comments and I will do a video of this look for you it's a lot it's going to be a long video because it does take a long time to do it this because this is a professional makeup look it's not like a quick rushed look that I do every day I hardly ever do my makeup like this although it's my favorite look it just takes such a long time to do it and get it this finessed I would say so yeah let me know so that concludes this video if you liked it please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video take care bye